Hello everyone, this is Dvang with a special Christmas bonus here. Uh, as you can see right in front, this came in the mail today. Zombicide Black Plague. Uh, this is the corset box uh, that was shipped out to Kickstarters. Uh, so for those who uh, don't necessarily know, I'm hopefully probably a lot of you know what have heard of Zombicide. Um, which is a zombie horror survival shooty game, shooty game, um, action game uh, with lots of miniatures um, from Cool Mini or Not. This is uh, an, not an expansion, it's its its, its own game, um, but it's a set uh, where regular zombicides set in modern times, people with guns and things like that. This is almost like Black Plague, which is set in a fantasy setting. So dwarves and elves and ogres and uh, things like that. Um, that fantasy setting is overrun by necromancers with zombies and skeletons and things like that. So, uh, but it uses pretty much the same, pretty close to the same rule set as the original Zombicide series. Um, but it, but it definitely has the fantasy twist um, instead of guns. You've got bows um, and spells as sort of ranged weapons, but there's also more emphasis on melee uh, being obviously a fantasy based. So there's a lot of different melee type weapons and there's armor, which is a, kind of some different rules from the original Zombicide. So here is an unboxing anyway. I thought people might want to see for those who haven't. Uh, I have not even opened this up myself, so let's see if I can get this to actually come out. Uh, let's see what we can get. Ugh, a big old box. Now look at that. Season's Greetings Zombicide Black Plague Backers. Um, worked incredibly hard to make Black Plague an experience that is new yet familiar to Zombicide players. Game that took the core mechanics people love from Zombicide and reinvent the world around them. Um, and they're happy. Kickstarter went really well. Uh, this package contains one copy of your core game. They're currently finishing the production of the extras and add-ons, and they will send those and any extra copies of the core game in quarter one of 2016. There you go, and look, they and they all signed it. Very nice, very nice of them, and it was it really was pretty awesome that they that they shipped these these out to get us copies. In time for Christmas, uh, especially us in the states, uh, since I think we were some of the later ones uh, to to get our copies. And I apologize, there is a little bit of glare on this table, and I will try to avoid that as much as I can. So here comes the box. All right, so the first thing we get is a rule book. Wow, this is pretty thick uh, and pretty hefty. Um, so table of contents. Chapters, index, uh, you know, your typical really, really well done. Uh, they've certainly uh, managed these very well, very bright. Examples, uh, some little story blurbs uh, in amongst the rules. I won't get too, too deep in them. It's going to be, I assume, pretty similar to the more recent Zombicide books. Um, pretty well set. Uh, and then quests instead of missions. Quests, tutorial, dance macabre. Easy for survivors, 45 minutes. Uh, interesting, big game hunting. The Black Book. The Shepherds. Famine. The Commandry. In Caligine Abditus. Medium six survivors. Ooh, quest 10. All right, so there's 10 quests in here. Uh, hard six survivors is where all that goes up. That's a big old map. Uh, and then a list of the skills, which is gonna be fairly similar to Zombicide and the index and credits. Very nice, so and on the back, summary of the game round. So obviously probably something to be photocopied or printed out. Nice. Okay, and I know, Online, they showed us a little bit of the 
uh, unboxing stuff. I think this actually needs to flip around because this. Uh, oh no, I had that. Is that right? Okay, so kind of a pizza type box. There's obviously stuff underneath it. And ooh, look at all the goodies. So, well, obviously, start with player boards, trays. It actually comes with trays with a built-in slider for experience uh, and places for your cards, your character sheet, and the cards you have equipped and things in your backpack uh, and various skills you've gotten. Uh, for those who don't know, so standard dice, uh, pegs for the player boards, colored bases, so you slide these under your characters, uh, and which will, will, so here are the, I should say, uh, this first, I guess this is all part of the tray. The top part here, so these brown figures are the heroes. Uh, there are six of them, comes with six, and you can play up to six. Now, how well you can see these people, but uh, pretty, pretty nice. Uh, you know, the, your, your cool mini are not uh, quality. I mean, they're, they're, they're very good for for plastics. Uh, yeah, still not really focusing all that well, but it's alright, and the wizard. This is the nun, I think, the priest, uh, priestess. I, I, I actually don't remember exactly who all the characters are. I, I remember a couple of them. Um, and obviously the dwarf. All right. So anyway, so the bases. You put the colored base on the hero and help you remember who's what color. Uh, and again, you've got matching pegs for your board. So very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, and then Zamasai deck of cards. So obviously this is a mix of equipment and and these yellow ones. Uh, are zombies. So when you spawn zombies, you're going to draw a card to find out how many spawn. Um, they all look uh, looks like there's a good mix of zombies. They look like they're in pretty good shape. And of course, the abomination uh, with his guts kind of hanging out there. Bigger fellow and Got a necromancer, so he's kind of like a mobile spawn point. Uh, he'll spawn zombies all over the place uh, as he moves. All right, and then under that is another tray of more zombies. Oops, there's a couple zombies that clung to the bottom here. And some of these fellows have come out of their tray. and figure out where these people... Yeah, let's go like that. Here we go. And, yeah, as they pointed out, in the tray, in the box here, they're actually telling you where all these uh, zombies go. And, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in there. So, it's telling you, you know, what the rows consist of. Um, so they end in a fatty, uh, and they have the, the different figures, uh, and that corresponds with the sequence from left to right, is left to right. Uh, so it helps you organize uh, your zombies a bit a bit better uh, and remember where they all go. Uh, yeah, and there don't look to be appear to be any uh, any issues other than zombies have decided they they don't want to go in the Place where they came from. A bunch of them wanted to pop out. All right, so those are the zombies. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty nice. Uh, very well, well designed. Uh, they've definitely learned uh, some great things from uh, their zomb regular zombicide experience. Okay, and then down here we have. Spacers for 
the tiles, uh, and it looks like the hero cards. So we'll do a quick look and let's see. Oh, there it is taped. Or sort of, you know, it's got a little tape strip. Let's it open. Okay, um, and the heroes are in their own little contained cellophane uh, package. So, uh, tiles and tokens. So doors uh, and everything that punch out uh, and some some rooms uh, and so there's two sheets of that uh, and then in its own cellophane are the actual map boards. Um, I'm not sure if I can get these all open. Let me leave you with something to kind of look at here uh, while I try to get this open. We can take a look at some of the map tiles a little closer. Very, very cool, very exciting. So, really nice uh, detail. It is artistic, so it's not, uh, you know, hyper-realistic, I should say, um, as you can see, but it is very, uh, very well done. And they are, they are double-sided, uh, and so um, for those who haven't played Zombicide, you'll take, you know, you'll, you'll put these obviously like, you know, together depending on the scenario. Uh, and then you have little tokens uh, that represent doors and they will get placed, uh, you know, along the walls uh, of these buildings to, to make entrances and exits to uh, the various buildings. So. Uh, and then so there are these kind of narrow streets uh, through the town. Very cool, crossroads, a couple of different buildings. Very nice. Okay, a little building in the middle of a square, I guess, with a little well. Ooh, some coffins. <laughs> Looks like a blacksmith with an anvil, and it's a kind of got a corner. I don't know if I should. I, I guess I'm not necessarily showing you the oops, the backs of all these. Am I? Uh, another faraway junction. Uh, you know, there's just suffice it to say they're they're really nice. They're they're pretty thick, um, pretty good good quality. Uh, good quality there. Very, very well done. Uh, so they've they've come a long way from from the original Zombicide uh, and done a lot of really nice new things, in my opinion, with the uh, with with Black Plague here. Um, so, uh, and actually, let me. Open this back up here. So, so the characters. So we have you have Anne, the the nun. Okay, and so and the way this works, uh, so I just fit the character card uh, in there, and then they have. Uh, like an armor card that can go on here uh, and then one hand I don't know if you can see there's a little little fist there and a fist there so you get uh, two things to be held in hands generally like you know a sword and a shield or two weapons uh, and then this is the backpack and then they've got a little be kind of hard to see a little backpack icon there so very cool very cool and you can see that's got a armor Icon, which not necessarily armor. Uh, most people have, most of the characters have something else that can be put there uh, instead. So this lot can hold a dagger for for Anne. So instead of wearing armor, she can have a dagger. So she can have like a third weapon, or she could have a sword, shield, and a dagger uh, equipped, uh, kind of thing. Um, that sort of thing. And of course, 
uh, their uh, abilities. Everybody gets the blue, you're always going to have the blue, uh, and then you're always going to get the yellow, which is one action, and then you get to choose between one of the two oranges, uh, and then you choose between one of the three reds as you go along this track. So you can see you start zero, blue, yellow, orange, uh, and then way down here is red, uh, and at 43, and that's when you get to choose one of the reds. And then it, depending if you're how you're playing, uh, at least in the originals on the side, you could lap back around, and then you, if you get back up to orange, you get to, you get the second orange. Get back to red, you get to choose one of the remaining two reds, and so on. I, I'm not exactly sure. I don't see why you couldn't do that um, with Black Plague. Uh, but so everybody has a special uh, a special ability. That's really what. Um, differentiates the characters um, between are, are the abilities they start with in blue uh, and get uh, along the course of the game and uh, in Black Plague also what they can have here in their armor slot as an optional. So there was the the nun, uh, we have you have Baldric the wizard, so he starts as a spellcaster, uh, that's his blue ability, uh, and he can have a sword instead of armor. Uh, so he can have like spells equipped in his hands. Uh, you have Clovis, uh, I think, who is a warrior, uh, so you can have a shield there, uh, so you can have um, two weapons and a shield uh, for a little bit of armor. Then he starts with an extra die for melee. Uh, you have the dwarf, Simpson, and he can have a shield. And he's got iron hide, I don't remember what that does, I think that gives him a better armor roll or something. You've got Nelly, the, I think she's a waitress, she can have a dagger up there. Uh, and she gets an uh, extra move. Uh, and then Silas the Elf, who can hold a sword, and he has a plus one to dice roll range, so he's going to hit better with a bow. So there you go. Uh, and then that's, uh, oops. that's going to be it for the box. I don't see anything else in here, uh, as, if, as if that wasn't already uh, enough goodies for us. So again, you've got uh, you've got you know all these all these miniatures. You've got the uh, the character boards, uh, the miniatures, the cards, uh, and actually they give you two slots, two spots for cards um, for the little cards. Uh, so you can easily store them in there or have expansion ones because uh, because essentially you said there are two decks here. There's one that spawns zombies, and then there's one that, that's items that you can find during the game. Uh, so it's nice that they give you two spaces, two separate spaces for those cards. Uh, and then you got all these great, great map tiles. You got the character cards, uh, and you've got uh, the dice and the counters, uh, the bases. There you have it. So there's the unboxing of Zombicide Black Plague. So uh, I will take a look at it, uh, and I'll probably probably uh, you know play a game or two over the the holidays, um, and I may may let you know what I think of it, uh, or give a you know give a look of a game in you know a couple of photos or something of a game in session. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, keep you guessing, but here's the unboxing. I uh, hope you liked it. I uh, hope it makes you excited to get it if you haven't yet. Um, pick it up. I'm assuming it's coming uh, in stores sometime quarter one or quarter two next year. Uh, really excited for it. Uh, very very cool idea to put it into the fantasy uh, fantasy realm. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.